I'm gonna show you guys something that's gonna blow your mind about the solar eclipse that just happened on April 8th, 2024. Check this out. So the way eclipses happen according to NASA and mainstream science is that the moon is a solid object, it's a ball and it goes in front of the sun and that's how the eclipses happen. Now it is true that the moon goes in front of the sun but it's not exactly the way that NASA says it is. And I wanna challenge your way of thinking here for a second, stick with me here. If you don't believe the earth is stationary, fixed and flat, then I want you to think about this for a second. So take a look here at the map and this is at the bottom of the screen it says March 27th. Now I'm gonna play this here and I want you to take a look. So the moon and the, and the sun travel around the earth on their circuits like this. Now the sun moves a little bit faster than the moon. So I'm gonna fast forward a little bit. As the sun catches up with the moon as the days go by, notice how the moon loses its luminance. It loses its light. And that's because the Bible says that God made two great lights in Genesis. He made the greater light, the sun, to rule the day, the lesser light, the moon, to rule the night. And so as the sun gets closer to the moon, the moon moon's losing its own light. And so we're going to fast forward here to the eclipse day, April 8th. Now look at the sun and the moon. Look at their pathway. Okay, they're really, really close to each other. So on April 8th, this is the eclipse day. I live in the United States. The eclipse happened around 140 for me. So around 140, this is how it looked, just like that. And so you can see that the moon, it's not giving off any light, and the sun is right behind it. And so... The way the eclipses happen is that, yeah, the moon's in front of the sun, but the moon doesn't give off any light. And so if the moon were a ball in front of the sun, then what we should see happen is that the sunlight should be going to Earth and Earth's atmosphere should be so bright, we should be reflecting our light from the atmosphere onto the backside of the moon to where the backside of the moon's lit up. But we don't see that during an eclipse. We don't see any part of the moon lit up on the eclipse. And that's because the moon gives off its own light, just like the Bible says. Now, if we fast forward a little bit, we're gonna go to April 9th, see the sun's getting faster. It's going in front of the moon. Now look at the top left screen. The moon's starting to gain its light back because the moon's getting further away from the sun. So if I continue to fast forward, the sun gets further away from the moon and the moon's getting its light back. And so that's how the eclipses really work. Like and share, comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching.